So who are the partners and a brief description of those partners? The partners we have today make today possible, first and foremost, the artists. And I'd like you to acknowledge Mary Lou Doré and Horna MacLeff. Coast Optimist Club. 
to their leadership and talent, they have enriched the lives of many and served as an inspiration to us all. I commend them all for their tremendous contributions to their respective fields. As your United States Senator representing the state of California, I applaud the USC Institute for Genetic Medicine and each of today's honorees for their remarkable accomplishments. Please accept my best wishes for a most memorable and enjoyable event. With warmest personal regards, sincerely yours, Diane, Diane Feinstein, United States Senator. This says it all. Congratulations. It is now my distinct pleasure to uh, introduce Dr. To Dr. Pickus Cohen, who is the Dean of uh, the USC Davis School of Gerontology. He's also the Executive Director of the Ethel Percy Andrews Gerontology Center. William and Sylvia Google, Dean's Chair in Gerontology. He received numerous awards for his research, including a National Institute of Aging Eureka Award and the NIH Director Transformative R01 Grant. He also recently received the Glenn Award for Research in Biological Mechanisms of Aging. He holds several patents for novel peptides and is the co-founder of Cobar. Am I saying that correctly, sir? Cobar, a biotechnology company developing mitochondrial peptides for diabetes. Dr. Cohen has published over 250 papers in top scientific journals focusing on aging, Alzheimer's, cancer, diabetes, growth hormone, IGF biology, and the emerging science of mitochondrial-derived peptides, which uh, he discovered specifically Humanin, a 24-amino acid peptide encoded from the MT16S RNA. Without further ado, Dr. Dean Cohen. So, when I accepted the position of the Dean of the School of Gerontology at the School at USC, I called uh, my former mentor, Ron Rosenfeld, who just finished a stint as president of the Packard Foundation. I said, Ron, do you have any advice for me? And he said, Tassi, as Dean, you're going to be doing a lot of public speaking. So you only have to remember one thing. Nobody ever complained that a speech was too short. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that we're here to celebrate what to me is a remarkable exhibit. And I think what makes this really special is not just the collaborative uh, uh, efforts of all these different entities and schools. It's really that this wonderful exhibit is an interface of several sciences, of art, and of the humanity associated with both our dealing with the aging planet and climate change, and with the human uh, struggle involving aging and gerontology, and how we can overcome these challenges through art. And uh, this all started when Lynn Crandall and I met uh, at Beth Garrett's uh, kitchen for a party uh, about eight months ago. Yeah. And I shared with Lynn uh, uh, that, particularly as a biologist, uh, my personal challenge and goal is to create efforts at the Davis School around creativity and art. And Lynn, of course, shared with me her work here. And uh, as you can all guess, Lynn took over the opportunity to do this aging planet, uh, uh, aging humanity art exhibit. Uh, and uh, again, I'd like Lynn to stand up and to have a standing ovation for her. <laughs> I told Lynn that we may very well have an interesting opportunity because I've just gotten to know uh, Mary Lou and her art. And to be honest, I've only seen a few pieces until today. And uh, I think your work is absolutely gorgeous. Mary Lou, please stand up. <laughs> Mary Lou in my office, which was in the video that you saw. And of course, uh, 
the other artist uh, I've known for about uh, three or four years. Before that, she was just my sister. <laughs> and, uh, she, she rediscovered herself as an artist. A process that really embodies what we at the Davis School believe everybody should have a second career. Everybody should find a new passion when they move to the next stage of their life. And Orna's art has won me over. Uh, I'm also very fortunate to have some pieces uh, that you saw in the, in the video in my office. So Orna, please come out. to future collaborations between the IGM, the Keck School, and of course the Davis School of Gerontology with our art and aging, creativity, and others. Thank you everybody and please go out and enjoy the art. <laughs>